Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It's Noah from Six Flow Automations. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up call transferring for your retail AI voice agent. I always give my clients the option to add this as keeping a human in the loop is always a good choice if a caller ever requests to speak to one. If you're looking to start an AI voice agency or like learning skills like this, tap the link in the description to check out our school community where we give you everything you need to build your own AI voice agency right from scratch. As always, if you find this content useful or you want to support the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so the first step is going to be logging into your retail AI account and go ahead and make a new agent or just pull up an existing one if you already have. Right here, I have a very simple agent that I've pulled up from a previous video and we're just gonna work with this for the tutorial. So there are two ways to connect your call transfer node. The first way is going to be going into your welcome node and adding a new transition and selecting prompt and I will say something like user requests to speak to human just like that. And then to add the call transfer node, we will head over to the left tab bar where we can see all our nodes and it is just called call transfer. So I'll click on that and to connect the two, I will just drag this transition to this node and there you have it. You have connected the call transfer to the AI agent. Now the second way and the way that I prefer to use the call transfer node is setting it as a global node. This means that the AI agent can refer to this node at any point during the conversation. So it can jump from any one of these nodes back to this one. Whereas the way we have it set up now, it's limited to only transferring the call if it takes this route from the welcome message. So to set up a global node, which I suggest you do as well, you just tap on the node and you'll see the configuration settings pop up. And at the very bottom, you will see global node. we will just go ahead and enable that. And then you can provide it a description. So this is where you can say if at any point during the conversation, the user asks to speak to a human, transfer to this node. So I'll say if user asks to speak to a human, just like that. So now we have it set as a global node, meaning that it does not need to be connected to any other node and the AI agent will jump to this node at any point it feels like the user wants to speak to a human. Now that we have that set up, let's go back into our transfer call and let's go through some of these settings. So the first setting that we wanna discuss is transfer to. We have two options, a static destination or a dynamic routing. Static is pretty much that it's only gonna to transfer to the one number that you input, whereas dynamic routing, you can input multiple numbers and let the AI agent define which number to transfer to based on the circumstances. So you can see here, retail provides us with an example saying, if the user wants to reach support, transfer to this number. If the user wants to reach sales, transfer to this number. So that's pretty much the gist of it. You can fill this up as much as you want with as many numbers as you want. If you have different departments that the caller may want to be transferred to, you can use dynamic routing. For this example, I'm gonna stick to static routing and I'm just gonna input my own number right here, just like that. The next thing that we want to discuss is the type. We have two options, a cold transfer and the warm transfer. The cold transfer says that AI transfers a call to the next agent without a debrief. So this pretty much means that right when the caller asks to speak to a human, it's going to transfer the call right away. So what we want to do actually is use this warm transfer. Now what this does is it pretty much allows the AI agent to provide a debrief before transferring the call. So this is pretty much going to be using a whisper message, which we'll get to in a sec. And you can define a description saying something like sum up the conversation up to this point before transferring the call. This is very useful because before the call actually gets transferred, you're letting the person that the call is getting transferred to sort of know what's going on before it actually picks up the phone. So it's a really cool function. I use this all the time. And there's just a few things to set this up. So the first is gonna be the hold music. There's a few different options you can choose from. I usually just go with the relaxing sound, which is sort of like elevator music. And this is just gonna play while the AI is debriefing the transfer to person. The next thing we do want human detection enabled. So this is just gonna uh, allow the agent to detect if a human is on the other line where the call is being transferred to. And you can set a detection timeout. I think 30 seconds is fine. Anything longer than that would probably be um, putting the other caller on hold for too long. Now let's go ahead and enable whisper message because this is where the magic is. So you can see the handoff message. We can do a prompt or a static sentence. Definitely want to stick with prompt on this one. And I'm simply just going to say sum up the conversation. 
station up until this point quickly. And that is it. The three-way message I never use. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I don't think it's very useful. Same with the custom SIP headers. You probably won't need that. We've already enabled our global node and we could provide global node, node examples, but for this, we will not need that. So our call transfer node is now fully complete. So the last thing I'm going to do is publish this agent. And if you don't know how to connect a Twilio number to your AI agent, I'll link a video up above that walks you through exactly how to do so, since I won't be covering it in this video. Now, moving on, I'm going to select one of the numbers that I have in my retail account, and I will connect it to an inbound phone number and just publish just like that. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch the view for you guys. I've borrowed Adam's phone so that we can test his call transfer out and see how the whisper message sounds. All right, guys, as you can see here, I've borrowed Adam's phone for this demonstration. Reason being is that the call transfer function does not work when you try to do a web call within retail AI. So we do have to use our phones for this, but that is not to worry. The plan here is I'm going to give the agent a call on Adam's phone, and then I will ask it a few questions before being asked to transfer to a human. Once I do so, we should be put on hold on Adam's phone and receive the call on my phone the agent should then debrief us using the whisper function and then transfer the call so let's go ahead and test it out now i will call the agent and put this on speaker so you guys can hear hey there thanks for calling six low this is john how can i help you today hey john i'm just curious what you guys do yeah totally so we help small businesses save time and boost sales by setting up automation like stuff that handles repetitive tasks for you or help you follow up with leads automatically um is there something specific you're looking to automate or do you want to see how it could work for your business? That's all great, but I'd like to speak to a human, please. All right, there's the elevator music. Should get the call. And there it is. Let me take this off speaker, put this on mute, and I will answer this. Hello? Hi, I was just speaking with a customer who is interested in learning more about our automation services for small businesses and would like to speak with a specialist. I'm transferring the call to you now. Sounds good. And now if I put both on speaker, you can hear my voice from both phones and that's very annoying. So let me hang this up and I will switch back to the other view. All right, and there you guys have it. You have now successfully set up the call transfer function in your retail AI agent, allowing your agent to transfer the call to you, your business partner, or anyone in your business. Another cool thing you can do with the call transfer function is actually allow your agent to transfer to another agent by simply inputting the number connected to the other agent. The last thing that you're going to need to do is set up the transfer failed transition. As you can see, when you add the transfer call note, Node, retail automatically adds this transition for you this is pretty simple i would just hook up a conversation note saying that the call could not be transferred because the other person was busy can you can i please take a message and then you can hook that up to a function to send off an email to the person that it was supposed to be transferred to with a little bit of details and maybe an email to get back to the user and you can do this through your automation platform i do this through n8n and that is pretty much it i hope you guys found this tutorial useful if you did hit that subscribe button it would mean a lot to me and the channel and i will see See you guys next time. Peace.